in a previous life, I worked for Dundee Volunteer and Voluntary Action. And one of the things that we did was we ran the, the local version of the Connecting Scotland project so that we were able to give gadgets out to people who needed them. And by gadgets, I mean it was um, either iPads or it was uh, Chromebooks. And what they enabled people to do um, in many cases, particularly older people or people who were disabled, um, people who weren't able to get out of the house that much, it enabled them to keep in touch with their family and friends. And it genuinely was extremely helpful. I remember delivering a gadget to somebody living in sheltered housing who you know, had a kind of a weekly gathering that they, they took part in every week. And it just made their lives much better because it meant they were still in touch with people in a much more visible way. Um, the thing, it's an extreme example, but the thing that I really, really liked and I tried to promote when I was working at Dundee Volunteer and Voluntary Action was um, the little robot, which you can, let's say your child is off school and can't go to school for a long-term illness reason or broken a leg or something like that. There's a gadget which is produced in Sweden, if I remember rightly, and um, you can send the gadget to school. It's a little, little robot. You get somebody in one of the other kids in the school to carry it about. So you can actually sit in the classroom, um, hear the teacher. You can even chat to the person sitting beside you using it. And um, it enables you to actually have the school experience, enjoy the lessons better than just sitting with a tablet or um, you know, trying, to, trying to study online. It means that you're part of it. And the tear-jerking advert for it involved a little boy who had been able to attend a huge football match in England and actually get into the dressing room with his favourite team and be part of the celebrations when they won the cup. Um, Marvellous, just a brilliant use of digital technology, a way of showing how it can be used. Um, so yeah, that's not for everyone, but um, it's a good example. If people think creatively, you can do an awful lot with it. At UVA, we set up a project specifically to create uh, digital inclusion for health reasons in the community. Um, the theory behind it was that people would be able to come into a centre, um, use near me, be shown how to do it, but also be introduced to other health tech like uh, heart monitors and um, pulse oximeters and that kind of stuff. Um, so that it just spread a bit of knowledge and you know, help people understand that digital aids and gadgets could be extremely helpful to them to, to maintain their health.